to talk to you about the Naked Mole Rat Letters. It's a good story about um, a girl, she's 12 or 13, she um, lives in Indiana and she finds out that her widowed father is interested in someone and the story progresses from there. I would say it's a good story for a student to read to find out you know what other people are going through and maybe they have some of the same feelings. Uh, the writing style is pretty pretty straightforward. There are two things I would warn people about with this book and one of them is that they have a lot of puns in this and my, my ESL students would not get the pun and they would just skip over it. And for the most part with puns, I guess that's just, that's just ESL, you, 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 you're not likely to get it. Um, the other problem with this book is English has uh, an unusual spelling style. Uh, you have a lot of words that look like they should be spelled a certain way, but they're not. And as the, you know, the writer is showing that this is a 12, 13 year old girl, she's trying out these bigger words, but she's not spelling them correctly. If you can see, it says, this rat lady has indeed ceased her rootless, fruitless, fruitless communication. Luckily, Dad is not an ELO person. This goes on throughout the whole book, and I think every time an ESL student will see one, two, three with question marks, they're a they're not going to know, they're not going to understand what that means. But let's say they could figure it out. Would they know that the correct word is fruitless? I'm I'm not sure. I'm I don't know, but uh, it's definitely. This book is good and I would advise it for middle to advanced readers just because she does use a bit of more difficult language and you do have to look it up to understand what she's talking about. Uh, the spelling problem will make it difficult for a student to look it up. I'm not sure. I, I find that a little confusing for ESL, but maybe a challenge is good. Here's an example of the writing. Dear Diary. I can't believe it. While I'm sitting in here, Dad was sending Rat Lady an email. I found it in the scent box. And it's disgusting. They spent time together, whatever that means. He didn't even go to his meeting. He doesn't sound like himself at all. He sounds like someone who swallowed a soap opera. I thought my heart was going to stop beating when I read it, so I came back to my room to lie down. Obviously, drastic measures are required. Should I act now or wait for her next move? What I really should do is go to bed. I need my sleep. Tomorrow after school is the audition for the school play. The play is The Miracle Worker, and I'm dying to play the part of Annie Silva Sil Sullivan. I'm dying to play the part of Annie Sullivan. She is the miracle worker of the play because she saves Helen Keller, who can't see, can't hear, and hasn't yet learned to speak, from the depths of darkness and despair by teaching her sign language. She did this by pressing the signs of letters into Helen's hand. She taught Helen to feel words. It's a true story. Annie is the most dramatic role in the history of theater, and I just know I'm going to get the part. With my long red hair and my mature nose, I look exactly like Annie Sullivan. Well, if I don't get Annie, then I'll definitely get Helen, which is the other leading role. I like Annie better because she has the most lines. Helen doesn't really have any because she doesn't know how to talk. But if I don't do something about Rat Lady now, then I'll probably toss and turn in a fretful state of worry all night. I'm going to act now. As Miss Young always said, she who hesitates is lost. There's a lot of uh, sayings like, she who hesitates is lost, and some of them are more comprehensible than others. Uh, some of them I think would get lost because they in themselves don't make sense and if they don't make sense it's hard to see how they fit into the story. The story is cute, the writing is a little more difficult, I would say this is middle to advanced level and it's longer, it's 266 pages, if you can get a student to read it that would be really great.